welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with Ricky. Today is episode 5, and I have some sweet plans ready, so let's go ahead and get into the next episode. Alright, so have you ever been working on a project and realized you had a really good idea, but it also meant way more work to do it? So as I was looking at this, I kind of thought, why don't I change and add these little miniaturized pyramids along the side and change the color of these ones here, just a line, to a colored concrete, probably like an orange... I think, or red or blue, something like that. But that would mean I would need a large amount of concrete, which I do not have right now. In fact, I don't even have a nether farm yet to gather the gravel to start making the concrete. So it's looking like I might have to do that next in order to continue the project. So. I suppose let's go ahead and get into that next. Alright, to do this nether farm, what we're going to need to do is make a gold farm and then a, I believe it's called a Hawkland trading system. Uh, I'd have to look up exactly what it is called to be honest. And I'm going to need a bunch of magma blocks and some building materials but to start off we've got our nether portal which is in our swamp village here and this is actually a witch farm that is where we built the first structure around in the server but if i go down here i've got my nether portal and we'll go through and see how well the world loads here now i have already put some portals on top of the nether and for our nether farm we're going to be going out here to a nether waste which I believe is right here yeah so I'm going to go ahead and begin working on the gold farm and the hogland trading system and I will talk to you after it's done.
that was a insanely large amount of work for that build, and I have to put a huge shout out to um, Il Mango, who is the designer of this farm. I will put a link in the description to his channel. Be sure to check it out. It goes into great depth on how all this works. And then I also have to give a shout out to the Mandalorian, who is a friend of mine who fixed the redstone uh, sorting system at the bottom to collect and sort all the gold pieces as they fall. As obviously when it comes to redstone, I'm just, it's outside my element, so it was nice to have a friend be able to hop on and fix that up for me. So this is going to be all I can do for this episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time on Minecraft with Ricky. Yeah.